Hey guys, uh, welcome back to our channel. Um, I'm walking right now with Scarlett so she can go to use the restroom, but I just got to the cheaper. I just parked. Um, after I get done unloading, we're gonna head to Florence, Kentucky to pick up another load and then we're heading to Oregon. So stay tuned. My truck is over there parked at that door. Scarlett's right here, she doesn't wanna move. Can you please use the restroom? I'm trying to bring her back here because there's grass over there, but she is stubborn, so. That's all she wants to do, guys. That's why she has so many allergies, I think. She loves rolling on the ground. We just got done getting unloaded. I have my proof. And now we're gonna head 100 miles from here because we have an appointment at 6 p.m. to pick up another load. I think we're in Louisville, Kentucky, and we're gonna go to um, Florence, Kentucky. Okay, now I usually come back here, close the doors. If I don't have a truck next to me, then I'll close them right there at the dock. But since I'm not sure if I'm gonna be struggling with this space, I just prefer to just move away from it and just close it myself like away from the other truck i don't know if you guys know this but you have to close this door first your left hand to wear gloves but I forget sometimes even though I bring them with me I forget so that's it okay guys so before I go and park for the day because Ishmael has to pick up a load at 6 and he just woke up we just stopped at Walmart so we can do grocery shopping and I just want to show you guys what we usually do this is Scarlett's leash but we're not gonna use it because we're putting her on the stroller so, so we park at Walmart parking lot. Ishmael put in his shoes. Um, I still have like 72 miles to get to the truck stop that we want to park. But we just park here while we go and shop. And then we just go through there, through the garden section. And we are in Louisville, Kentucky. This is what we're doing, guys. We're shopping. We got a new hand vacuum because ours broke and we don't have the time to order it from Amazon because we're not going to be home until September and I need to clean the truck. Um, Scarlett's chilling. You can see her a little bit through there. Pretty quiet here. So we're shopping for snacks for Scarlett also because she's running out of them. And look at this shit. $37.49 for this bag. I'm telling you, having a pet is a huge responsibility. So if you get a pet, make sure you can take care of it, okay? Because it is like a child. We got 40 bucks. Literally. We got 10 bucks. We got 20 bucks. We got 25 bucks. And if you like to keep it clean, another 20 bucks. So by yourself, Dog alone is just $100. And at Walmart. At Walmart. Yeah. But anything for my baby girl, right, my boy? <sighs> this is what we're getting so far. Pretty much all of this is Scarlet. We needed a new vacuum and just groceries for the week. So we got Bessie doing the count. We got two carts. So. The full one, she scans it, and then we put it in here. So, how much do you want to spend today? Huh? How much do you want to spend? 300. More than 300 or less than 300? A little bit more. I think around 400 and up. No, we'll say 350 and up. Is your bet locked in? Your best locked in? I'm not betting anything. I'm already losing money. <laughs> All right. 
We'll see how much it is at the end. So we still got Scarlet snacks. And uh, we already lost. I don't know how people do it with five, six, seven family members when it's just me and Scarlett and Beshley. <laughs> and we spent almost $500. What are your thoughts, Beshley? <laughs> we do have an air fryer. We also have a crock pot. We have a microwave. So we try to like, you know, make some stuff. So. This is what five hundred dollars of this economy gets you. Oh, by the way, she gave me a card and she said, "If you guys live in Louisville, Kentucky, I'm gonna put the address of this Walmart on my location." She said, "If you're looking for a job, they're hiring at the National at the Wood Forest National Bank." This is the information. I'm just gonna put it right here. For people who speak English and, and Spanish. Spanish. They're, they're looking, looking for, for a bilingual person and they also said that they're willing to pay a little bit more because they, they are in need of a bilingual person, Spanish and English. So if you're interested in you and live in the area, come to Walmart. Can't say we never helped. This is the address of the Walmart. It's in New Moody Lane, La Grande, hot, Kentucky. Looking. So it's not even in Louisville, it's in La Grande. Hot. And this is what we spend. But uh, this can last us up to two weeks, I think. We'll let you know. So until next time, guys. Thank you for being part of Los Reguera. Like, subscribe, and share. Until next time.